Welcome back to the channel. We are now sitting on the side of the road with some two rare species right here. One of them being Louie. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the cars, Bluey. These are some special cars. All right, cars. so I did my, uh, the car, there's 682 in total, 996 GT3 RSs. Four of them were produced in 2003, and then the other 678 were produced in 2004. These cars were never uh, US legal. They were only EU compliant, and I'm, my guess, off of my knowledge, is that these full roll cages we're always standing everything RS, so I think with the uh, US laws, they probably had a hard time. I think this is through the club sport package, no? They came standard with the, the, this full roll cage. Right, regardless of all the boring fun facts and stuff right. of 600 something, they're rare as hell. The bottom line is yeah. that they were never made for the United States of America. They're essentially considered forbidden fruit on US soil. And here we are touching prime US New York soil where we have the best pizza, the best bagels, and that's where we happen to be sitting with the best two GT3 RSs. To me, having one of these is absolutely incredible. To be able to have two, which by the way, they only made the options with white with the red decals, as you see, and then white with the blue decals, Riviera Blue. Blue, blue being a much less produced version of this model, for sure, which would make it a little bit rarer. This one, when we purchased it, it had 1,700 miles on it. Yes, 1,700 miles, which is absolutely crazy. And yes, getting it in through the United States, it has to go through a federalization process, which this one did through JK Technologies, and everything's completely done, and it's under the show and display exemption, which, which means it allows you to drive for 2,500 miles. The car only has 1,700 miles. A year. It's, it's a year, 2,500 miles a year it's not gonna be driven at all. But mainly why I purchased this car, when we bought it with 1,700 miles, I said, you know what, we're never gonna drive it. We have to find the blue one, white with the blue wheels, and then we're gonna take them to Pebble Beach, and we're gonna have, when was the chance of everybody ever gonna have two of these together, let alone driving the United States, keeping in mind in Pebble Beach during car week, that's just crazy. So that's exactly what we did. So this car now has 2,200 miles and we're just driving it around the block here and there. That's really it. So it served our purpose for mainly marketing, but forget about us, why these cars are so unique and so special. They're just really the foundation for the modern version of the RSs. And with these two different color options, it makes it a very unique setup looking the red seat belts, the blue seat belts, just all the carbon fiber and the lightweight. The rear window is plexiglass. It just doesn't get cooler. And then one thing Louis did is the sound. He couldn't stand that. It, it did not sound right. So meaning it just didn't have any, what do you call it? Cowbell? Sauce. It didn't have any sauce. So Louis, what'd you order to get more sauce? Oh, uh, just muffler bypasses. So you think that needs it, right? I think every GT3 car should not have a stock exhaust. So every GT3, <clears throat> should have some form of exhaust or any modification just so you could hear that beautiful motor how i mean it's a gt3 they all had to sing and you have to hear them sing and not only that but with these cars especially the 996 rs this if you argue with a lot of guys uh between 996 993 and 997 a lot of people do say that the 996 rs is the best handling and best driving gt3 and i kind of have to agree with that because the turn in on this and the chassis and the rigidity and even the weight, the car weighs less than like 3,000 pounds. This car is all there. And I told Ryan multiple times, these are probably my favorite, two favorite GT3s we've ever had, hands down. And what's kind of interesting is we, we're we known for the 997s, whether it's a Turbo, whether it's a Carrera or a Carrera GTS, whatever it may be, GT3s. Coming off of the fact where, if you guys all know, we had the Mint GT3 RS and the pink Ruby Star one, thinking about the fact that we're gonna say, okay, how do we one-up this in Pebble Beach? We're gonna grab a couple of 996s, which everybody also says, the fried egg headlights, they hate them, but for some reason, these are the only 996s that are the true cars that people freak out about. And these cars, by the way, are around the half a million dollar each. So they're not cheap at all. They're not what you'd consider in that normal, you know, 996 world. The blue one, coincidentally, when we were taking it to Pebble Beach, there was a customer that was interested in it and he wasn't sure. And uh, he said, I'll come look at it when I come back. I said, the, there's only one problem and I, I can't promise you or, you know, hold to my word on anything about this now because when the car is out in Pebble Beach, somebody may buy it when it's out there. It's very likely. So he made a very wise decision, wired the money right into us, and he says, go enjoy it in car week. And we still have it here, we're babysitting it for him, but this car actually right now is sold, so they are going to be separated. We tried to beg 
him to take the two brothers, meaning this is Ryan and this is Louis together, but unfortunately the family is going to be split apart. <laughs> the problem yeah, is yeah. now, Louis and I will have to ride in a car together, which as much as that sounds like a lot of fun, believe it or not, we kill each other. Yeah. If we're on a road trip, we cannot be in the same car. I want to kill him, I want to destroy him, I put my head down for a second, he's going in getting beef jerky, getting sausages, I don't even know what the heck he's Red bringing. Balls. Things that you're not supposed to bring in these cars, because if you see, the seats are cloth. They will absorb any spill all over the place. Well, show, I, yeah. I saw Louis sneezing before. He sneezed and he rubbed his hand on the Alcantara steering wheel. Well, there, we will make sure it's clean though after yes, we Yes, we will ozone the car, we promise. But just the simple details of this. There's no full leather. There's no electric. There's no air conditioning in this car. If you noticed in the beginning of this video, I was schwitzing, as they say in the Jews, Jewish religion. I was sweating so much because they have no air conditioning. So when we were taking these cars to Pebble Beach, since this one was the lowest mileage one and I like the red personally, I said to my wife, because she was coming, I got a little problem. And I only broke this to her like two days before we were leaving. I said, the car we're going in doesn't have air conditioning. And she's eight months pregnant. So that wasn't really such a good thing. No. So we ended up swapping keys and, and switching cars and having a lot of fun with all the cars, which is really awesome. So, but the main thing is every so often we try to buy certain cars that other people don't buy. And there's not been many dealers that have had these examples, let alone ones with like 1,500, 1,600, 1,700 miles. Keep in mind the blue one has 9,000 miles. Just super, super, super rare cars. So the fact that we're able to look on these two, at these two on US soil, is extremely, extremely rare. I'm just gonna give you like a little walk around these cars and just focus on the tidbits of what makes the 996 RS so special. First, we'll start with the, the Euro GT3 seats, the buckets. Definitely infamous and actually very comfy. We got the full cage. We have the carbon mirrors. And one of my favorite things about the RS is the hood. Now, I don't know if you guys see this, maybe we could zoom up a little bit, but you see these bubbles. Um, that's all factory. That was, you know, something that this was one of Porsche's first cars that they introduced a carbon fiber hood on. So I'm assuming the way the car, you know, with the paint and the clear coat, everything, you know, came together that they had a little bubbling, which is a good thing, which shows you that the car or the hood has never been painted. So let me give you a little preview of what the hood looks like as well. Even for like the lightweight savings. So even the RSs, you have the diffuser over here and the badge over here is not even a, a you know, a metal Porsche badge. It's just a sticker for lightweight savings. And you got your window sticker with the option codes. So you got the, you know, the red decals, once again, the carbon mirrors, and probably one of my favorite things for like this lightweight savings as well are these rear windows. I mean, they're not made of glass. They're almost like a plexi plastic like composite. So if you just zoom up a little bit, you can see all the flex in the rear window my there. Is not a fucking race track. Okay. Not Okay. Please. Yeah, you got it. So as you see, I just, Ryan has people that hail him and I just got told that the neighborhood's not a racetrack. So I guess we had uh, two different types of crowds that follow us. Uh, you got the carbon wing. Here you got the carbon, the seats, the full cage, just like the red car has the bubbling on the hood. So you know it's a real, you know, original, non-painted hood, which is a good sign. And uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, these cars are 380 horsepower, by the way, and top speed around 190 miles an hour. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks again.